Hello, my name is Andy Slania, a customer success manager at Proudly. I'm going to take the next two minutes to answer the following questions. Who is Proudly? What is AppOps release? Where is it installed? When do I use it? And why do companies need it? Proudly is a company who believes business system admins are more productive, introduce less risk in day-to-day -day operations, and can deliver more frequent improvements to the business when they apply agile development best practices to their work. We are building our AppOps platform to automate the entire development lifecycle for low-code applications, giving administrators easy-to-use tools for change management, version control, regression testing, and data deployment. AppOps release gives administrators a simple way to manage changes to the reference data that underpins low-code applications with the same change management rigor that developers apply to code changes. It can also be used to deploy master and transaction data between any Salesforce orgs. AppOps release is installed into a control org that manages which data is being deployed, where it's being deployed from, and where it will be deployed to. During the data deployment, Proudly maintains a backend mapping between the record in the source and the record in the destination. We do this to identify if the record matches between the source and destination if you need to rerun a deployment and update any existing records. AppOps release can be used to deploy reference data for new implementations of Salesforce managed packages, such as CPQ and Field Service Lightning, to govern reference data record changes after the implementation, to consolidate data for mergers and acquisitions, and to see developer sandboxes with existing data used by admins and developers to test new solutions. Think about how sales data is built within your CRM. You have to first create a customer account then add people who work for that customer as contacts, then create records for potential opportunities to make a sale. This simple example contains three objects, the account, the contact, and the opportunity, with a junction object between contact and opportunity, along with the relationships linking each of the records together. Now take that concept and apply it to your pricing engine. If you have a product, you need to create price rules for that product, and those price rules may have some other dependencies. This data that makes up your ability to give correct pricing for quotes to your customers can quickly become complicated. It is a best practice to build that type of data in a sandbox, test it, then safely and securely deploy that data into the active production org that the company runs on. This is the challenge that AppOps release solves. If you have any questions about the content seen in this video, feel free to reach out to us at any time by visiting proudly.co. Thanks for taking time to learn more about Proudly and the AppOps platform.